for joining me again today. It's Wednesday the 16th of June and this morning I have a mixture of strawberries and raspberries. So I've got 81 grams of raspberries for 20 calories and 100 grams of strawberries for 30 calories and 120 grams of the 5% Greek yogurt for 112 calories. So I really enjoyed yesterday's bowl of fruit for lunch. So I thought I'd have something similar for my breakfast. Uh, yeah, so I shall eat this and I'll catch you probably at lunchtime. Bye. This is my lunch today. I've got the Warburton's bread. So one slice was 28 grams and that's 65 calories. The other one was 21 grams and that's 49 calories. So quite a difference between those if you didn't weigh them. 70 grams of avocado that I've mashed for 120 calories. And the tomato weighs 135 grams and that's 19 calories. So I'm looking forward to this and I'll catch you in a bit. I'm having this now for my pudding and it's 85 calories. So it's 3.30 and I fancy something so I'm having some watermelon. There's 192 grams for 60 calories. So it's going to be nice and cold and refreshing because it's absolutely scorching. My tea tonight is a total of 451 calories. I got 76 calories on the 45% less fat sausage from Aldi's. I got one of the 5% uh, fat burgers from Aldi's for 131. The brioche bun is 157 calories. I've got five calories worth of onions in there. And I've got some mushrooms here, 123 grams for nine calories. And then I've got 20 grams of the Aldi's cream cheese stirred in for 31 calories. And in my burger, I've got a cheese slice, which is the lighter one for 42 calories. So that's my tea tonight. I'm having one of these for my pudding and it's 98 calories. Well, I really enjoyed um, that barbecue. It was only basic barbecue, really. Um, just, just us, the family. So just thought we'd just have some burgers and sausages on there. So that was lovely. Um, before I carry on, I must say, um, I had a couple of people um, mention to me that last night's video... I talked about it on the end about the rice pudding I had and um, I didn't realise I hadn't even I hadn't even put that <laughs> part of the film on so I was talking away about the rice pudding and actually there was no filming of the rice pudding I had filmed it and for some reason I never put it on so it was one of the it was the Aldi's um, clotted cream rice pudding absolutely delicious um, and I had 200 grams of it, really high on the calories, 339 calories. But my God, it's so worth it. Um, but I'm not going to do it often because I did say to my husband, it is quite a weight, not a waste, but it's a, it's a big chunk of your calories to, to lose out on. But because, um, what did I have for my lunch yesterday? Did I have, oh, the bowl of fruit. Because I had like a light, a low calorie um, lunch I was able to do it but oh I've got to move a minute um yeah so oh it really is so delicious so if you were wondering why I was talking about rice pudding and you hadn't actually seen that's why um so today yeah thoroughly enjoyed everything I've eaten today my my um lunch was delicious avocado and uh, tomato really really nice in this hot weather um, yeah, so what am I ending on? So I put down a skinny whip for um, supper for my treat tonight and then I've got a hundred calories left. Um, now I was over yesterday by, what was I over yesterday? By 46. So I'm going out shortly um, and then I probably will have I will pop into my dad so I know I have a coffee there which I have a coffee mate so that's 35 calories so what's that that's about 80 90 calories left 85 calories left 
So I intend to leave it there. But if I decide to have anything, it will be an, a nectarine. I got a wasp buzzing around me. No, it's a bee. Oh, um. Oh, can you hear it buzzing? Um, I must hurry. So yeah, a nectarine. But if I do, um, I always say I'll try and remember to tell you tomorrow. But it, anyway, even if there's so many oh flies and wasps. If I do, I'm still going to be well within my calories, so that's all good. And I've had such a nice day of food. So, yes, um, thanks for joining me again today. And I would really appreciate it if you could give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you would. It really does help my channel if you like my video. And obviously, the more subscribers, the more I'll grow. Um, I need to grow quite a bit at the moment I'm not getting uh, it's not growing as quick as I'd like it to but still never mind and oh and another thing I was going to tell you um a week Saturday is the wedding and because of all the rules and regulations they're having um they're having the sem the they're obviously having the actual wedding um, and then the reception, I think there's 30, so that's okay, but you're not allowed to mingle, you're not allowed to go from table to table to chat or anything. Um, only two people in the bathroom at one time. Um, you're not allowed outside to have a cigarette or anything like that. Thankfully, I gave up four years ago, so that won't bother me. Um, but yeah, it's all very strict. So the evening do which I think they had some like 120 attending. Although they can have those people attend, it's so strict on the rules. Um, as I say, you're not allowed to the bar. Um, the food would be placed in the centre of your table, where it would have been a buffet. They're not allowed to do that. It has to be put in the centre of your table. You're not allowed at the bar. It's all um, table service and no dancing except for the first dance for the bride and groom and no mingling no talking to other tables so they chose to postpone that part and have it later in the year fingers crossed so so yeah so a week saturday i'll go for the meal um really looking forward to the meal because i've chose some yummy things um yeah so anyway i'm gonna go because i got a few things to get done this evening and places to go so I'll catch you all tomorrow and thanks for watching. Bye.